Hi guys, in today's video I will show you a digital archive of over 50,000 images. All are in the public domain. On this channel I'm posting regularly videos about public domain works, how to find free out of copyright images, where to sell them, and how to edit these works. So if you are selling on any of the print-on-demand sites like Redbubble, Merch by Amazon, or maybe you create non- and low-content books and sell these on Amazon KDP, or you are selling prints on Etsy, eBay, Amazon, or your own site, or simply you are fascinated by the vintage materials stored in library archives all over the world, then this channel is right for you. Like, share and comment, any of these will go a long way and please YouTube gods. And if you do not want to miss another video, then subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified when I post new content. Make sure to check my Gumroad store as I post there mainly free supporting files for the videos like lists of various sites. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get to the site. This archive is growing every day as they are photographing works and adding new images all the time. In this video we will visit the National Gallery of Art. Direct link to this collection is in the description below the video. So here you can search this collection by artist last name, keywords in the title, keywords in the object information, and those are among many other searches which you can do. Also, there are more ways to search. So it's like I mentioned keywords in the object information, there's a credit line, provenance. I will not fill in any keywords here, just mark down the box next to images only and hit search. So as you can see, the total number of results are nearly 100,000 images. And um, the most important box to check is under online images tab. So let's check image download available. And as you can see, there are over 54,800 images available to download and use as you see fit for both private and commercial purposes. Please bear in mind that these images are in the public domain in the USA. If you are based outside, you will need to do your due diligence and check the copyright office in your country. But to be perfectly honest, if you see an image and it has been, the work has been created in 1260, between 1260 and 1280, then I don't think that there is a copyright attached to this image in any country all over the world. So as you can see, a lot of these images are from 15th, 16th and 17th century works and of religious nature, which is a huge niche on itself, as you can create, for example, many interesting covers for low and non-content books for Amazon KDP and even coloring books of religious theme. Some parts of the image might be turned into nice patterns and easily sold on Etsy or as book covers. As you can imagine, there are tons of images in here and all are free to use. So let's check some filters now. Under classification, I will mark down print and we are down to 23,500 results. I have selected a few prints to show you. This is a 15th century woodcut. So to the right, we have uh, metadata. We can check a few things in here. But the main important entry is the one which says image use. And in this case, it's marked as open access image. So just down below open access image, there is a hyperlink. I'm just going to open it in a new tab. Open access at the National Gallery of Art. So with the launch of NGA Image, National Gallery of Art implemented an open access policy for digital images of works of art that the gallery believes to be in the public domain. So basically they are saying here that all of the works which are marked as open access image, they are in the public domain. And all of them, they are available for download. And they go into more details. Why are some, Im some of the images unavailable? Um, what's the background, what are policies, and you can have a look at this and read at your own leisure. Uh, I just wanted to show you that bit, that part, that one paragraph. So let's go back to the image and just below in the left bottom corner, we've got three icons. And we are interested in that one is the down pointing arrow and it is a download icon. So once you click it, the download starts automatically 
and it will end up in your download folder. So let's check other images which I've opened. There's a nice image in here. So as you can see, there are quite a few similar images in this theme. Uh, there is even some more data in here down below. That one is quite interesting as well, at least to me. That's an etching in iron. That's an ornamental design for a coffered ceiling. It's an etching as well. So as you can imagine, you can uh, create extract this and create a pattern out of, out of this. And one more. That would be interesting, a coloring uh, page. It's a woodcut. So you have probably noticed that each of them had the statement in here. So let's check other filters. I'm gonna reset the filters. Just click on the X here and uh, that will untick the print in the classification. And again, under classification tab, I will mark painting this time. And we've got nearly 2,400 images in this search. But I would like to limit the results even further by applying the artist nationality under the nationality tab. So let's mark down American. And as you can see, we have nearly 900 paintings here. So if you're into paintings, you will find multiple styles here. Time spans from uh, 17, 18th century. Uh, we can sort the results chronologically and by title. So I have opened a few examples for you. So for me, these are just some random searches, which I kind of like. Uh, I just wanted to show you the, uh, a few examples. It's again, the open access uh, uh, policy is here. Everything looks exactly the same except of the image. So all of the links, they are part of the free PDF, which you can download from my Gumroad store. And the link to the PDF is down below the video in the description field. Just out of curiosity, I would like to check the different nationality. I would like to mark some uh, Dutch artists. As you see, there are nearly 180 paintings. There are various artists here and some of the images they are not on view. And down below there is a little bit of uh, history about the image, about the entry, about the acquisition, uh, the exhibition history, bibliography. Um, so if you're into that, it's worth to check. Um, let's try one more filter. So I'm just going to reset this one by just uh, you can do it both ways. You can uncheck the painting, uncheck the nationality. And actually this time I would like to go to the Styles tab and choose Impressionists. So as you can imagine, there are many paintings from the famous Impressionists like Monet, the Gare and Noir, just to name the view. I have opened a few paintings for you. So as you see, that's called Monet. That one is by Edgar Degas. And we've got Auguste Renoir as well. And there are many, many more. So all the links to the works from this video are available as a free PDF download from my Gamrod store. If you've got any value out of this video, then like it, share it and comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.